Welcome back. Well, we made, we made it to uh, Notch Point and we managed to get back out of the track, back on the track again and, and get back to uh, camp. So we're now back at um, Cape Palmerston, holiday, holiday resort or holiday park, caravan park. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, that uh, Notch Point was absolutely stunning. What a spot to camp. Just fantastic, you know that that area just in front of the, the sandy beach there and the colour of the water and look, it's a pity the uh, the weather wasn't better for us. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but then the uh, the rain cloud came over and um, we're back at camp now and we've had a little spit of rain, still nothing too drastic, um, and there's a bit of a thunder thunderstorm, electrical storm going on round about us. Um, but I think it's going to impact further south than, than it is up here. So um, nothing for us to worry about at this point. So anyway, that's it for us for now. Heading out to Notch Point. So here we are, we've just come to the gate. Um, we've actually got a caravan coming out. So it's Yarrawonga Park Reserve, Isaac Regional Council and it's free camping for seven nights in any 21 day period. So we're just gonna drive in now and um, have a look, Gina's gonna get the gate. I'll just get Gina to um, sign us in as well because there is a, a thing on the gate there. You just have to check us in, there's an output thing on the front as well. So Gina will close the gate behind us, that's one of the conditions you, you know you always um, leave the gates as you found them. So that's this is the track in. Um, I believe in the way it can get a bit tricky to navigate um, and there is a lot of trees, low-lying trees, some tight spots um, so that makes it difficult for the caravans but there's people taking big, big, bigger caravans in sort of you know near enough the same sizes as ours so um, and some of them have actually had bigger I believe so um, shouldn't be too much of a drama to um, to get our 22 footer in. All right, I'm, I wasn't sure how the time warp part would work. Like, like I said, the camera's on new to me now. Um, so I've just put it on normal video footage, I think, um, just to show you a little bit of coming in on the track. I won't film the entire thing, um, but we, we, we're getting closer to the water. We can actually see the water further over. So we are getting closer to the water. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything that would be too difficult getting the van in, um, other than some of the uh, the more humpy, lumpy, bumpy bits. Um, so we've made it in most of the track. There is a couple little um, hairy bits there um, that would be you need to be extremely careful and cautious of getting the van in on the back of the car. As you can see, it's pretty bumpy. This is just a little bit of a wet crossing bit here, but we've actually made it into the camp now. Um, we can see a few caravans up, up ahead there, but I'm still looking for the track. There's a track that goes off to the left, as I said, that takes you round the hill rather as over the hill, which they reckon is better for uh, getting your van in there. So we'll try and see if we can find that. I believe there is a sign and a little memorial garden or memorial flowers. Um, 
as there was a person went missing from here from the boat ramp some time ago the, um, they're not sure whether he was taken with a croc or what happened but you can see we're actually starting to see the water now out over there so I'm not sure whether we have missed the other track yet or whether we still got to find the track yet so um, we'll see once we get up into this bit up here a little bit better but there you can see we've got the water on the side of us there now so um, back to the track so we're just going to work our way around we'll come back to you when we get to the um, when we hit the waterfront which should, shouldn't be too far so I'm hoping that the sign for us to take the track left is just up here I don't know how much footage I'm getting on here because the screen that I'm looking at has gone black blank on the uh, on the back side but um, anyway we'll keep going so yeah so I think this is where the boat ramp is which goes off to the right side I believe and we would be going on the track up to the left which I think hard to say we'll just keep going and we'll see where we end up and then we can work it out from there right eh? Here's a track to the left here, but I'm not sure if that's the one that takes us up over the hill. So um, we'll have a look. I'll stop the video here. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll keep going. Because I think we're going to get out to the water here first. And um, I'm sure you are going to want to see the water. It looks absolutely beautiful. How about that view? Oh yeah, so there's the memorial down there for the guy that went missing. So now we've got to take this track. So we'll follow that round. We've got to take this track off to the left over here. So that's where we're going to head now. Because that's that's the track we'd need to take the um, caravan on. Which is um, the better track, I believe, rather than going up and over the top. So you can see the... Uh, you can see the track going up there as well. So there's a few different tracks. It's just finding out which one's which. So I'm thinking this one going around to the left will be the one that they recommend for the caravans coming in. And we probably should have went left there, although that takes us under those tiny little trees. So yeah, not sure. So I think um, to bring the caravan up this stretch here, if this is the best way round, I don't think I'd be too keen to bring it up round here, but we'll see. Because I think this brings us into a lovely grassed area where a lot of people just sort of camp, set up camp with the caravans and stuff, and you, you've got an open, an open view to the water. But um, as you can see, the track is far from perfect, but again, nice and slowly and easy, we'd probably get you in. And it's nice and dry here at the moment, so. Um, there's no dramas with mud or traction or anything like that. So as you can see, we've got the palm trees blowing. And off round to the left here is where you can camp. And there's 
the water out there. So it's a lovely spot. Let me just go up this end first. it is really windy and um, that is one of the uh, drawbacks of heat is um Coconuts in the palm trees as well, these are coconut trees these ones. So um a few of the campers, it's not as busy as I thought it might have been, but um, still a few people around. Turn you around. So yeah, pretty rocky here. It's obviously part of the mainland back there. We might take a walk around and see. I think there's more sand around that side. Might be a guy fishing or whatever. So we'll take a look, eh? So yeah, notch point, eh? What a place. That's where we were, it was way over, way over there, that's where the path was at. And then, that's that rocky point, all over there that we, we walked around. And then, if I shoot you around here, you'll see, we've actually got a rain cloud coming over. I think we might get a little bit of rain shortly, we're feeling a few spits of rain. But then, look at the sand. I mean, the tides here go out for miles, so it's all pretty flat. But you can see all the beaches around there. All the sand, all the way back around. There's following the mainland all the way around, I guess. But what a beautiful spot. Anyway, we're just going to climb up the uh, hill a little bit more. You can see the rain clouds coming in there, so hopefully we can um, get some shots from up the very top of the hill and get out of here before it downpours. Hopefully. So let's crack on up the hill. Because we should get a really good 360 degree view around the, uh, the whole area here from up the top of the hill, which is a bit of a climb. And uh, some of the tracks that go over the backside, I can see now why people put up, take the track around as opposed to coming over the top because it would be scary, real scary. So I'm um, just tagging along behind me there. Is 
actually people camping up here too. So um, you can camp down the side and you get a lot more shelter from the wind. So there's more camping down the side. But what I've read and heard is that round this side they get smashed with mozzies and midges and stuff. Whereas the side where we showed you, the breeze keeps all that away. So you don't have any dramas with that. So let me just get the campsite for you. So there we go. You'll see the car coming to shot down the bottom there. But what a beautiful spot. Absolutely stunning. You can see the sun hitting the water over there. You see the colour of the water change. View from here, top of the hill here, right over all that sand. Isn't it spectacular? So this is one of the tracks back down over the top of the hill. Um, I don't know if the camera is really going to show how bad it is, but um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, there's some massive big holes, drop-offs. Very uneven, lots of lots of loose rock, big rocks. So this is only just one spot. There's a few other spots, but that's it's pretty bad. I don't know if it's going to show in the camera, but anyway, there is a few other sort of bad spots down the other side there as well. So. Um, I think we'll just go down this way we are getting rain so I just thought we'd get back to the car in time before we get the uh, downpour you can see here there's massive holes like that hole there would have to be about two foot deep you know So yeah, a bit of a quick look at uh, Notch Point. Hopefully the rain doesn't uh, get on the lens of the camera. You can still follow this. We're just heading back to the car now. I believe the cows come in and give you a visit later on in the afternoon too, on their way through. You see a lot of people talking about that, they get quite friendly. Yep, the rain's coming down. There's just this massive big rain cloud behind us. look and we'll call it a day. Cheers. <laughs>